so we are taking up the second problem here so simpson one third rule we are having the second question so second question we have to find the integral definite integral so we are given with the formula here we have already discussed in the first problem itself so y not y1 h by 3 is there one third remember one third means h by 3 remember and two times of what the two's multiple this is nothing but two's multiples okay so y2 y4 y6 so on and 4 into rest all terms whatever the rest all terms are there that you have to include the restriction for simpson one third rule is nothing but that n value should be multiple of 2 so 2 4 6 8 so on so here you can see that 2's multiple is already taken in the formula so like that also you can remember that it, the restriction for this formula is nothing but interval should be 2's multiple so it is given in the question inter interval as what 6 if it is not given in the question then you have to take it as 2 4 6 or 8 anything like that okay now here we have to compare with the standard form which is nothing but a to b y dx y is nothing but the function of x so we get to know that y here the function is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square right a value is nothing but 0 b value is nothing but 12 and y value which is nothing but the function of f of x is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square now here we have to find the value of h h is nothing but what b minus a by n h is nothing but the width of the interval okay so b is nothing but 12 upper limit minus lower limit divided by the interval is given in the question 6 so answer is 2 by seeing the interval we have to h value we have to form the table so as we have discussed before in trapezoidal method it remains the same table since the interval is 6 only okay there also we took interval as says and the function was same same question so that's why the values also will remain same so we are trying to understand comparison that whether the values how much the difference is there how much error is there so that is the important one right so next one so x value we have y of x value y is equal to f of x value we got which is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square so 0 from 0 we have to start and we have to add the width so that we can get the next step so basic idea is nothing but from lower limit to upper limit we have to go and uh, we have to take the step of the width right so width we have to consider so width is nothing but here so uh, from 0 i have to just add 0 or uh, 2 so that i can get next value then again 2 you have to add again 2 you have to add so like that keep on adding and we will arrive at the upper limit okay and remember that how many points will be there seven points will be there and how many intervals one two three four five six intervals as given in the question six intervals will be there so seven points as we call in this as what ordinates so points basically i'll call as what ordinates so seven ordinates are there so if you subtract one ordinate ordin from ordinates if you subtract one you will get what intervals n is equal to six okay that also you remember now after getting always remember you have to get the corresponding you substitute the zero value in the question so that you can get the y naught value the first value of y is nothing but called as y naught or y zero this is very important it remains all same in the question that means it denote notations remain the same okay till where we are finding the corresponding value 12 you have to substitute and find out the answer so you are getting y6 so from y naught to y6 we have got the values now you have to substitute these values in the question so after substituting the question we uh, we have to put it in the formula so i is equal to see here h by 3 will remain same as it is so i will write just h by 3 bracket so first term is nothing but always it is y naught plus the last term we have calculated in the table you can observe which is nothing but y6 okay and two times of multiples of two terms you have to consider the thing is that here we calculated y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 and y0 also we calculated right so how many total terms were there seven points we had in this y0 and y6 i have already taken right so now the remaining terms are y1 y2 y4 and y5 in that multiples of 2 is nothing but y2 y4 i cannot take y6 because it is already considered here you can see y6 is already taken so i cannot mention it here so 2 into y2 plus y4 i can take y6 i cannot take because it is already there repetition cannot be done so next 4 times of 
remaining terms y1 y2 i cannot take so i can take y3 y4 i cannot take so remaining is y5 right so this is the last term is y6 so it is done now after this you have to just substitute the values h value we already know 2 2 by 3 so i am getting the value as how much i is equal to i am getting the definite integral value as 1.40201 and we have to compare it with the actual value using the calculator we can calculate the thing so the actual value will be getting it as how much exact value or the actual value 1.48765 okay this is the actual value so you can just compare it slight difference and slight point point difference will be there okay 